My name is Miss Patty and I'm coming to you from the Goffstown Public Library. Although today I'm actually not at the Goffstown Public Library because it is April 2020 and we are all home under a stay at home order until at least May 4th. But I couldn't let all that time go by without reaching out to our friends and talking about books. So just like I did last Friday on our YouTube channel, I uploaded a video talking about five brand new chapter books that we have at the library. Today I'm also going to talk to you about five chapter books, but they're all not going to be brand new. I decided to just highlight two new brand new picture books, I'm sorry, chapter books that we have, as well as a few of my personal favorites, a couple of which are really early chapter books. So if you're a beginning reader, um, you might really be interested to hear about them. So I'm going to do a little brief summary of each book, tell you what genre it is, the title, uh, read to you a description from the jacket, and uh, hopefully you'll like one of them, at least one of them, if not all of them, and be able to read them at some point in the future. So the first one is one of my very, very favorite books. It's part of a series. It's called The Buddy Files. The Case of the Missing Family, and it is by Dory Hillestad Butler. It's available to check out through Hoopla Digital. I don't know if any of you are already using that downloadable service that the library offers. If you are, that's fabulous and you know all about it. If you're not, uh, then you want to download the app onto one of your devices or access it through your PC at home, um, but it's essentially a downloadable service that you can log into using your library card login information, and you can check out books. Um, Hoopla is especially cool because not only can you check out books, you can check out music, um, movies, audiobooks, and there are no wait times, so you don't have to wait for the titles to come available. They're all available right away. All right, so this one is a mystery. The genre is mystery. And I would also say humor, um, if there is such a genre, because it, it's a really funny, funny book. And as I said, it's available to check out through Hoopla as an ebook. It's a super fun series, and I think what makes it so humorous is that it's told from the uh, main character's perspective, and the main character is a dog trying to solve a mystery. So let me read a little bit about it. Buddy has settled in with his adopted family, but he's never given up on finding his beloved human, Kayla, and his first family. One night, he sees people taking things out of Kayla's old house and loading them into a van. What's up? In the middle of the night, Buddy decides to make a daring move, leaving everything to find Kayla. This is actually the third title in a series of, I think, six. Uh, they can be read it, uh, as standalone books. You don't have to read them in order. Um, the number one title wasn't currently checked in at the library when I was pulling books, but I loved the whole series so much that um, I wanted to pull it. So that's The Case of the Missing Family, but really any title within the Buddy Files series is available. I think they're actually all available through Hoopla right now. So that's that. The next book is a brand new is a brand new uh, chapter book for us at the library. It falls into the realistic fiction genre. Uh, the author, it's actually a husband and wife team. So it's JJ and Chris Gravenstein, and the title is Shine. And uh, these authors are very prolific, meaning that they write lots of different books. Some of the other titles you might be familiar with, in particular, um, Mr. Limoncello's Library. Have any of you read that? So that, that was a really good uh, book. So let's see what Shine is about. Who do you want to be, and not when you grow up, right now? Shine on might be the catchphrase of Piper's hero, astronaut, astronomer, and television host Nellie Dumont Frise, but Piper knows the truth. Some people are born to shine, and she's not one of them. This fact has never been clearer than now since her dad's new job has landed them both at Chumley Prep, an exclusive private school where everyone seems to be the very best at something and where Piper definitely doesn't fit in. When a mysterious alum 
launches a new award, the whole school goes into overachieving overdrive to win it. There is no way Piper can compete unless... Is Piper finally ready to step out of the shadows? Can she stay true to herself and still find a way to shine? Read Shine and you will find out. This title is available through another downloadable platform that the library offers called Overdrive. So similar to Hoopla, you just would download the app on your device or you can access through your PC. Also like Hoopla, you would need to log in using your library login information. Um, the main difference is, is that you may have to wait a little while for this particular title or any title to become available through Overdrive, whereas Hoopla is an instant um, borrow. Some titles, j just like if you're trying to borrow a physical book from the library, sometimes you have to wait. There might be a waiting list, um, but it is available through Overdrive if you want to check that out. All right, the next book is one of my all-time favorite. It is my favorite, now that I think about it. My favorite early reader series, and it's the Mercy Watson series by Kate DiCamillo. Have any of you read this one? I love it. It's just so, it's funny. It's funny, and the pictures are awesome. Um, I would say that the genre for Mercy Watson is probably fantasy, because there's a talking pig, and uh, things that in real life don't happen. Um, this title, all the Mercy Watson titles actually are available through as an ebook through Overdrive, which I just mentioned to you, the downloadable service. It's a fun, silly story about a pet, a pig who is a pet to a family. And the family, they don't really see her as a pet. They think she's really like a family member. So the illustrator is Chris Van Dusen, and I'll just open this up because these illustrations, hope the glare from my light is not too bad, are just great. Like here's one of my favorite characters. She's a neighbor and she does not like Mercy, Eugenia Lincoln. So let me read the back about Mercy Watson and uh, I hope that you will check this out at some point. Mr. and Mrs. Watson have a pig named Mercy. Mercy is a poor sign wonder. One night, Mercy decides she does not want to sleep in her own bed. She would much rather snuggle up with Mr. and Mrs. Watson. This is not good news for the Watson's bed or for the Watson's. So if you like the Mercy Watson early reader series, the really exciting news is that Kate DiCamillo then wrote a spin-off series. Um, they're not super advanced chapter books. They're more challenging than, than the Mercy Watson series, but she takes key characters from the Mercy Watson series and then builds a beginning chapter book around them. So they're equally funny and, uh, you know, just fun to read and very entertaining. All right, two more to go. The next book that I wanted to highlight for you is a brand new chapter book. It falls into the realistic fiction genre, and it's written by Kate Mesner. The title is Chirp. Okay. Um, this particular title I, I couldn't currently find as available through our downloadable services. However, Kate Mesner is another one of those, uh, I used the word earlier, prolific writers. Um, she's got similar types of realistic fiction titles that are available through Overdrive. So if you search in Overdrive, Kate Mesner, M-E-S-S-N-E-R, uh, you will find some other titles. By the way, um, I will add the titles of the books that I'm talking about today and the authors in the description of this video. So if you want to look back, uh, you can. All right, let's read about Chirp. Sometimes courage starts out quiet. When Mia moves to Vermont the summer after seventh grade, she's ready for the change in scenery. Her arm still aches from when she broke it falling off the balance beam, and her heart still aches from a secret she'd rather forget. For now, there's plenty to keep Mia busy. Day camp, new friends, and time with her beloved grandmother. But Graham is convinced someone is trying to destroy her cricket farm. Could it be sabotage? Or is Graham's thinking impaired from the stroke she suffered months ago? Mia and her friends set out to investigate, 
but can they uncover the truth in time to save Graham's farm? And will that discovery empower Mia to confront the secret she's been hiding and find courage she never knew she had? From acclaimed author Kate Mesner comes a timely and uplifting story of a young girl learning to harness the power of her voice. So that's Chirp by Kate Mesner. And the last chapter book that I want to highlight for you is in a genre that I don't typically read, which is science fiction. I'm sure some of you out there are probably big science fiction fans. Um, it's funny, even though it's not a genre that I typically am drawn to, even as an adult, as a young reader, I did like it. And one of my favorite books of all time was A Wrinkle in Time. I might have mentioned this last Friday now that I think about it. Um, a Wrinkle in Time was a fanta is a fa fantastic science fiction book that I've read multiple times. If you haven't read that, you'll also want to read it. But this one is a newer science fiction. I think it was published a year and a half ago. It's called The Infinite Lives of Maisie Day. The author is Christopher Edge, who if you read this book and you like it, um, this author has written other science fiction titles as well. Um, I did choose this book last summer for the library's family book discussion, and we had a blast. Um, five families, I think, participated. We read the book uh, um, at home and then met at the library and discussed it. And it was, it was a really great and thought-provoking read. I had to reread several parts of it just to make sure I was wrapping my mind around the concept right. So here we go. It's the morning of Maisie's 10th birthday, and she can't wait to open her presents. Maisie is not a typical kid. What she wants most for her birthday are the things she needs to build her own nuclear reactor. But she wakes to an empty house, and outside the front door is nothing but an unsettling, all-consuming blackness, a shifted reality. Even for super smart Maisie, these puzzling circumstances seem out of her control. Or are they? As in Madeline Langle's A Wrinkle in Time and in the other novels of Christopher Edge, math and science inform this mind-bending mystery about a girl who must work with the laws of the universe and trust the love of her family if she is to set her world right. Highly recommend this. This was a fun, fun book. All right, I think that's all I have to share with you today in terms of books. Before I go, I did want to tell you two um, important things. The first one is I've mentioned Hoopla, the Hoopla downloadable service, and I wanted to really highlight that they are offering right now unlimited an unlimited number of borrows through the month of April 2020. Um, normally you're restricted as a Goffstown card holder to up to six checkouts a month, uh, but just for the month of April 2020, they are offering unlimited borrows. So again, Hoopla offers books, audiobooks, music, and movies. So that's a really awesome opportunity, especially with most of us stuck at home right now through the end of the month. It, and they have adult stuff, they have stuff for teens, and tons of kids and tween um, titles. So have fun with that. And then lastly, next Friday at 1 o'clock, I'll be back, same YouTube channel. So, by the way, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do at this point. But I'm going to mix it up a little. Instead of um, doing really a book talk in terms of highlighting uh, chapter books to you, I'm going to do a read aloud. So what I'm going to start reading next week, a few chapters every week, every Friday at 1 o'clock, um, is The Mouse and the Motorcycle by Beverly Cleary. So this is a really fun read aloud. I think there's 13 chapters in this book. So I'm going to read either two or three chapters every Friday. Um, so it should take us about a month uh, to get through it. So that's what's coming up next Friday. Thank you for listening and stay well and have a great day. Bye.